Math Review The Sync Function The Sync Function is a function you will use quite often during this course. It is defined to be the sine of x divided by x. So what does this look like? Let's try and draw a graph of it. You know what sine of x looks like. Sketch out four periods of sine of x. There you go. And you should know what 1 over x looks like, your hyperbolic function. Sketch that on top of this. There we go. Notice that your 1 over x has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and it goes up to infinity as we get to 0. It decays towards 0 as we go to positive infinity. Likewise, as it approaches 0 from the negative, it goes to negative infinity, and as it approaches negative infinity, it goes to zero. Now we want to take the sine function and multiply it by this hyperbolic function. Well, let's think about that. If we take this negative portion from this function, and moving the negative sign, instead of being on the hyperbolic function, to be on the sine function, our sine function now inverts amplitudes for x less than 0. Now what happens to the amplitudes when we multiply these things? We get something very positive that's getting smaller. So our sine wave, which always is going to fluctuate between positive 1 and negative 1, those positive 1s and negative 1s are going to get gradually smaller as x gets larger. So far, so good. But what happens at x equals 0? We've got a 0 times an infinity. Or if we look at our original function, we have a 0 divided by 0. Well, that's not really good to work with. Luckily, in calculus, you all learned L'Hopital's rule. Take the derivative of your numerator. Take the derivative of your denominator. Now what's our limit? 1. There we go. We can work with that. So if we go back to taking that product, when x is 0, that 0 times infinity, which is really a 0 divided by 0, takes on an amplitude of 1, and is decreasing because of this 1 over x. So that's the shape of our sinc function and a little bit of reasoning for why it has that shape. These zero crossings occur when we have zero crossings for our sine function. Sine function has an amplitude of 1 when the argument is 0, and then decays. You should get this picture in your head so that whenever you see the word sync, you think of this picture. The sinusoid that's decreasing, the sinusoid that's decreasing here. One other note. I gave this as the definition of sync, and it's the most common definition of sync, but it's only most common by a small margin. This other definition of sync exists and is used in many places. It's very similar. You should still have that picture in your mind. But now they're going to have a little bit of a difference in your period. Though it's very similar, you have the same general idea. When you're using sync function, make sure you check to see which one is being used. It's not my fault that they give two different definitions that are commonly used, but I think you can handle it. By the way, MATLAB uses the second one.